empower me. Wow. Wisdom over wounds. December 26. Walk in the light. If we walk in the light as he is in the light, the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. 1 John chapter 1 verse 7. To mistake freedom from sin only on the conscious level of our lives for complete deliverance from sin by the atonement through the cross of Christ is a great error. No one fully knows what sin is until he is born again. Sin is what Jesus Christ faced at Calvary. The evidence that I have been delivered from sin is that I know the real nature of sin in me. For a person to really know what sin is requires the full work and deep touch of the atonement of Jesus Christ. That word atonement means someone came to right the wrong. So if you're a little bit confused about the word atonement, it means that Jesus came to right the wrong that happened in the Garden of Eden. And he did just that on the cross. He set it back straight, in other words. So the atonement for a person to really know what sin is requires the full work and deep touch of Jesus Christ righting the wrong atonement the wrong that is the imparting of his absolute perfection he imparted his perfection upon the world the holy spirit applies or administers the work of the atonement remember that writing the wrong they apply the administration of the atonement to us in the deep unconscious realm as well as in the conscious realm and it is not until we truly perceive the unrivaled power of the spirit in us that we understand the meaning of first john chapter 1 verse 7 which says the blood of jesus christ his son cleanses us from all sin this verse does not refer only to conscious sin, but also to the tremendously profound understanding of sin which only the Holy Spirit in me can accomplish. I must walk in the light as He is in the light. Not in the light of my own conscience, but in God's light. If I will walk there with nothing held back or hidden, then this amazing truth is revealed to me. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses me from all sin so that God Almighty can see nothing to rebuke in me. He just can't see nothing through the blood of Jesus that's cleansed us. On the conscious level, it produces a keen, powerful knowledge of what sin really is. The love of God working in me causes me to hate with the Holy Spirit's hatred for sin. Anything that is not in keeping with God's holiness. To walk in the light means that everything that is of the darkness actually drives me closer to the center of the light. Wow. I have to say that again. To walk in the light means that everything that is of the darkness actually drives me closer 
to the center of the light. Wow, what a simple word. Oh, woo, Lord, empower me. Give me wisdom over all my wounds. Lord, help me to find and to walk in the light. To my friends, my family, my co-workers, my acquaintances, my loved ones on this line. God is drawing us into His light. I don't know about you, but the anointing is already on this line. God is drawing you. That's why when you feel godly sorrow, you begin to weep and weep. Sometimes we don't know why we just start crying when we feel the presence of the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit or the Holy One, whatever you call Him. When the Holy Spirit drops down and the presence of the Lord comes up on us, His hatred for sin touches our heart and we realize how much we actually hate sin and it will cause us male or female child or adult to begin to weep and wail in the presence of the Lord the topic that he gave me today is so simple walk in the light Oh, glory to God. What does that actually mean? John 1 and 7, the full text says, But if we live in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, His Son, cleanses from all sin. Think to yourself, walk in the light. I don't want to have anything else to do with walking in darkness. I'm coming to walk in the light. I'm learning to walk in the light. I'm learning to walk in the light of the resurrected Christ. Lord, I'm sorry for everything that I've done that was displeasing to you. And no, I'm not perfect. But I've learned to walk in your forgiveness. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord, for everything, known and unknown, that would keep me in darkness, that would keep me in bondage, that would keep me where the enemy can steal everything from me. We know that the enemy, the serpent, the evil one, he is the one that is stealing your life from you. That's not God. God is not punishing you. God corrects us. And he might spank us, he said, like the fathers of your flesh do. But he's not doing anything to break you down mentally, physically, emotionally. God is not trying to break you down. That's the devil. You need to learn to put the blame where the blame lies. God does not come to break down his child. God does not come to stricken his child. God does not come to make you go crazy. That's not God. That's the God of this earth, the evil one, the serpent who came even at Jesus to try and destroy him. But Jesus gave us a way. He says, walk in the light. The thoughts about that scripture is about fellowship with our brothers and sisters in Christ can be a blessed experience, but to enjoy sweet fellowship with our Heavenly Father is the pinnacle of everything. It's the pinnacle of being a sinner saved by grace. We now can fellowship with directly with our Father. God is light. 
You know, some of you have really good mothers and fathers, and just to sit with them for a while is just so joyful. My mother used to just pat my little toes and my head. Even as a grown woman, I just love my mother. My father died when I was a little bitty girl. I only remember a few things concerning him, and they were good things. But my mother, my mother loved me. I I can still feel she passed away. But I can still feel my mother's love. And I'm saying this because so many of us have lost our fathers and our mothers and our sisters and brothers. And there's just a love there. Even if they were mean, you know, every now and then you could still feel some kind of love. And if you didn't, then this is the time to understand the love of God. And he comes to replace what you didn't have. And what you didn't get, maybe, as a child. Sin is the cause of this broken fellowship with God. Christians that are out of fellowship with the Lord are walking in darkness. And sin is the cause of all broken fellowship. Did you hear what I said? Sin is the cause of all broken fellowship. Even with our parents they might have been broken themselves can you forgive them can you let ask god to show you what even hurt your parents but so many times we just think that our parents come with a book and they know how to do everything but some of them are so broken and then you come into that broken environment and you have anger problems and hostility problems and feeling unloved because maybe your parents did not know how to love. They may not have known how to receive love. And so many call ourselves Christians, but we're out of fellowship with God. Christians that are out of fellowship with the Lord are walking in darkness. And what sin is the cause of all broken fellowship? Allowing unconfessed sin to lurk within or pretending to be in fellowship while walking in the darkness is simply a lie. L-I-E. If you're in church pretending to be in fellowship, that's why I don't really like that saying that much, fake it till you make it. I don't believe in faking my relationship with Jesus. And I don't think, I'm not referring to anybody or any of their statements, but I personally would much rather deal with not pretending to be in true fellowship with the Lord. Fellowship with the Father is incompatible with sin. But if we confess our sin, God is faithful and just to give us our forgive us of our sin. And cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He'll clean you up from everything. Everything that the enemy has laid on you. Any one of us who said that we are in fellowship with the Father. While walking in darkness and sin is a liar. Who is not walking in spirit and truth. It is important for us to walk in spirit and truth. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. During our journey on this earth, we are living in a fallen body with a sinful nature that must be kept nailed to the cross. I understand that we are walking with a fallen body. And that we have to keep our nature in submission to God. That pertains to all of us. That's not just we get saved and all of a sudden we don't have any desires. That's not true. We have to submit those things. And keep them nailed to the cross of Jesus. We can never achieve sinless perfection as some like to teach. 
So we can choose to live in the light by keeping a short reign on sin. Don't let it get all out of control. As I always like to say, you just some of you just fall down in the mud and you're like, oh, I'm sin. So you decide to be like the pig and wallow on in the dirt for a while. Stay on down in the mud for a little while because you enjoy what you do. And then you come back weeping and crying when you have to pay the penalty for your sin. Live in the light. Keep that rain short. Don't just run wild. Dying to your self and selfish desire. Living for Christ. Submitting to God. Resisting the devil. And flying, running, rushing to our Heavenly Father to receive his forgiveness. Don't wallow in the mud. Get on up. Come on back to the Father and receive his forgiveness through Jesus Christ our mediator for this fleshly body. When we walk in the light, we will maintain sweet fellowship with the Lord. But if we choose to step outside of the light, our fellowship with our Father will be interrupted. There are many enticements to sin. And we can can choose. I'm going to say that again. We can choose to obey God's will for our life and foolishly step back into the darkness from which we have been rescued. But the consequences for carnality, which is Christians living like the unsaved, are living like they belong to the devil. But the consequences for carnal or fleshly life in a Christian is a loss of their reward. Did you know you're up for rewards? Eternally saved, but a wasted life. Saved meaning set apart. But you are separated still from God. Loss of reward and broken fellowship with our Father. God cannot reside with sin. That's why when you come back, you come back crying because you know you lost fellowship with your father. Because we are children of God. We are children of the light. At salvation, or when we got saved, which is what salvation means, we were transferred from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son, into the kingdom of God. And as such, we are expected to walk in the light as he is in the light. But the world wants to squeeze us back into its old mold. You know, the world doesn't want to let you go. And the enemy of our soul, Satan, wants to entice us away from the glorious light of the gospel of truth into the destructive cul-de-sac. Look at that word, cul-de-sac. One way in and one way out of darkness and sin. The destructive way of darkness and sin. But God is light, and in Him is no darkness at all. And those who choose to walk in darkness have, of their own volition and choices, removed themselves from sweet fellowship. With the one who purchased them with his blood. You are the only one that can remove yourself from fellowship with Jesus Christ and our Father. Who purchased you with his own blood. Having rescued you from the jaws of Satan. I heard dun, 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 dun. the jaws of Satan. I know y'all have seen that movie Jaws. That that sound would just scare me so much. Do-do, Dun, 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 dun. Are you in the water? And Jaws is there? Are you in the water and the jaws of Satan? Sin and death. That's all you got waiting for you when you jump in there with that Jaws, the shark. You got death on your steps. Having rescued you from the jaws of Satan. Sin and death. That's what God took us from. 
Yes, it's through the shed blood of Jesus our sin that we were cleansed at our salvation and brought into the light. And it is as sinners saved by grace that we need to be continually cleansed of any post-salvation sin as we travel through this life. While all our sins, past, present, and future, were forgiven the moment we trusted Christ for salvation or when we trusted to be saved, that's what it means when we say we are saved, we have salvation. We need to confess any post-salvation sin to our Heavenly Father in order to be returned into fellowship with Him. Because you can be saved and feel like God is far from you. We need that's because the fellowship with God is broken. For sin is the cause of broken fellowship. God is love. Hear me today. God is love. And God is peace. I, I know I'm discussing this because people are on my line. They don't have no peace. They don't have no love. They are in darkness. But God is love. God is peace. God is hope. Are you hopeless today? God is joy. You can't even find anything joyful coming up from inside of you. God is the purest light. There is no light like the light of the Lord. He knows that all the perfect place of protection and joy for all his children is to remain in fellowship with him and to walk in the light. The light of his love. Just as he is in the light. When a sinner who has been saved by grace. Did you hear those words? A sinner who has been saved by grace. Chooses to live in the light in the same way that God is in the light. He has made a wise decision. For he will not only enjoy blessed fellowship with his Christian brothers and sisters who are also living in God's life, but will enjoy unbroken fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ himself and sweet communion, communication. That's what that word is. It's not talking about taking the drink and the bread, but sweet communion, talking and exchanging with the great father of life and life and hope and love. So, Father, I thank you right now that your people on this line are here because they love you. I praise your name for the blood of Jesus, which has cleansed me of all my sin and identify me with the righteousness of Christ. I want us all to be identified. Let God identify you. We're in a day and age right now where people are confused about their identity. If you give your life to God, God will identify you with the righteousness of Christ. There's too much sex involved in all of this. You need the identification from the Lord. Your grace gives me the choice to walk in your marvelous light or live my Christian life in the shadow of the world. The flesh and the devil. The devil's stealing identities today. Even the children are losing their identity because their mothers and fathers are not bringing them into the identity of Jesus Christ. I choose from this forward, day forward, to walk in the light as Jesus is in the light. Lord, I desire higher and more intimate fellowship with you in Jesus precious name Father I thank you today your scripture today is 1 John 1 7 you gave me this simple thing walk in the light I've always loved that little song I'm not going to attempt to sing it to y'all again today walk in the light beautiful light Somewhere the dewdrops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us, Lord. By day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. You need to bring these children in. When I heard this song, 
has a little bitty dream. I gave my life to Jesus. The light of the world. Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light. Father, I thank you that anyone on this line today will receive your blessed word today and be set free. And all of the emptiness that they felt where they could not hear you or talk to you or get an answer, I command ears to be open right now. Ears unplugged. Ears release. The enemy loose your hold on the ears of God's children. Your words say, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of God is saying to his people, Lord. God is trying to speak to you today. We unplug your ears. That is the most safe We unplug your ears. Right now, we command all blockages to come out of your ears. That you may hear God giving you direction. That you may hear God telling you what to do. Ooh, glory to God. That you might hear God on a level that you've never heard him before. I'm seeing, I'm hearing ears, ears, ears need to be open today. Let God touch your ears with the anointing power of the Holy Ghost. Open these ears. Ooh. Ah, that they might hear what is the word for them to do? That you might communicate with them. Talk. Guide. Give them directions. Show them what to do. Speak to them in the midnight hour. The hour of power. The hour of your mercy, God. We thank you. We thank you, thank you, thank you. Loved ones, let God open your ears today. Don't turn your spirit away when God tries to reestablish his communication with you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. So as I always say, I just come to give you what God gave me today. Walk in the light. 1 John 1 and 7. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name for a refreshed hearing in the spirit. Hearing. Open up the mind, the mind, the mind. Blockages in the mind. That your blessings may flow to you. That your deliverance may come to you. Right now, I still think Sense the presence of God very strongly on this line. Very strong. Very strong. So learn to sit in the presence of God. And let God deal with your spirit now. And bring you into his marvelous light. So if any of these podcast shows are blessing you, we are found on most podcast channels under Empower Me Wow. Wisdom over wounds. Playing simultaneously is another one of my podcasts called The Drill Sergeant Series. Making jewels. I like to call them nuggets of gold for fiery trial. These nuggets will help you come into the end time season of the world today and carry you through many hardships, challenges, and trouble. So if you're on a subscription channel today, click like and subscribe. Send me an emoji, emoji, a emoticon, a thumbs up, whatever you like. And remember me in prayer. I'm Sister Barbara, and I will do the same for you. And 
one thing I want you to know today is I truly love you. Walk in the light as he is in the light and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. God be with you today. Bye-bye.